Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Versus them reading we're going to do a quick energy check in here see both of your energies five of cups feeling extremely disappointed i think even scorpio got five of cups as the first card judgment this is someone who's feeling disappointed that they might not get another chance with you. They want another chance with you. Knight of Cups, yep. But this person is feeling or they're fearing, not feeling exactly. This person is fearing that they might not get the chance that they're looking for. You might reject them or things are so bad between the both of you that... For some of you, this person is realizing things are how bad between the both of you. Or how they have disappointed you. So this is someone who's uh, feeling or thinking that even if they apologize, they might not get what they want out of this. Mm. Okay. Ten of Swords, yeah. There's definitely a painful heartbreak separation that has happened between the both of you and this person is dealing with that pain. This pain is almost uh, making this person realize everything they have done wrong in their life or this could be something like this pain, whatever pain they are experiencing, it's sort of uh, working as a like spiritual transformation or spiritual awakening for this person. Like this pain is helping this person to evolve, you know? Like it's it's a, like a teacher. The pain is working as a form of a like as as a teacher, and this person is learning. The judgment does talk about an awakening, epiphanies, realizations. So this person could be realizing something here. Okay. What is up with my cat? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but okay. Um, no, my cat's acting crazy. What's new? Anyway, seven of swords in reverse, six of swords in reverse. They can't move on. If this is someone who has to seek your forgiveness, who has to ask for your forgiveness, who has to have your forgiveness. Until and unless they can have your forgiveness, this person can't forgive themselves, neither can they move on. This person has not moved on or walked away from whatever has happened between the both of you. However, they wronged you, they can't forgive themselves. And it's like this person will not be able to forgive themselves until and unless they get your forgiveness. Five of Cups, Seven of Swords in Reverse. They want to meet in the middle. They want to compromise. They want to sort things out here. Sun at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with Leo, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something about this person is completely changing or has changed. 
understand they are understanding things very very clearly here ace of swords yeah understanding things clearly a lot of clarity truth so if this was someone who couldn't see how wrong they were in the past or how they shouldn't have been doing something saying something you know this person is finally realizing where they went wrong so if in the past you pointed something out to this person and you know like you wanted this person to to you wanted this person to see the truth see how wrong they were the wrong of their ways you you wanted them to see that but they really couldn't it's like someone was too blinded to, to their own actions too blinded to their own wrongs but now this person is able to see things clearly they're able to get the entire picture Hmm. Okay. Seven of Wands. If this person had a lot of, again, I'm getting that same energy. If this person had a lot of stubbornness, like, no, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. here. You're the one who's wrong. You're the one who needs to change themselves. You are the one who's misunderstanding things. You are the one who is in the wrong always. I'm never wrong. I'm not wrong. This person could have had that sort of stubbornness here. Like they would never admit that they were wrong or they would. And the reason they wouldn't admit is because they just couldn't see where they were going wrong, what they were doing wrong. So this was someone who was completely delusional. They had the blindfold on and they refused to see their ways. That's the reason why this person could be going through like uh, some painful experience or they are experiencing a lot of pain. It's very possible the Ten of Swords can represent some painful experience they're experiencing. Like something they're experiencing in their life that is very painful. A situation and experience that is very painful. And the reason they're experiencing this is because this person needs to... See like they need to change their ways they need to look at things differently and the universe is forcing something on this person here the universe is forcing this person to see differently see things differently to understand their ways differently to gain a better perspective of cups okay, I want to see your energy first I don't know why but yeah Okay, this is a six of wands. This is a seven of wands here. Yeah, this person had a lot of ego. We have the lovers here. We have the seven of wands and the lovers. For some of you, you know, you you were someone who was very stubborn as well. But you were... This is the energy I'm getting. For some of you, you both had a lot of stubbornness. But you were the one who was choosing the, this connection over your own stubbornness. You were the one who was fighting for this connection and that's why you were willing to work with this person. But this person was almost might have felt like this person is working against this connection. You feel a very strong connection with this person, with the lovers. And that's the reason why you were fighting for this connection. But it felt like this person is fighting against this connection. Either by being too stubborn, by being too egocentric, by being too full of themselves by still having that wandering eyes or you know it's almost like this person would flirt with someone and then they would be like I, i'm not saying this person did flirt could have been possible this person would have flirt with someone and then they would just make up the excuse oh that was not flirting that was not flirting i was just being nice to them that's not flirting you know so this is someone they are doing things wrong but they will not accept that they are doing the things wrong or they will not see that what i'm doing wrong 
if they are hurting someone they will continue doing that just because they don't think they are wrong that's it it doesn't matter i don't think i'm wrong and that's all that matters me 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 i i i so a lot of ego with this person here so if they lied they would make up excuse or they would be like you are misunderstanding things this person did sabotage this connection and they did have some since we do have the seven of swords here they did have some lying manipulative ways and it was all coming from their ego like this person could always justify whatever they were doing even if they were lying they would justify it even if they were manipulating you they would justify it even if they are cheating they would justify it they always had their excuses or reasons and now they're facing the consequences now they're experiencing pain for some of you since we do have the ten of swords and the six of wands this person could be going through some sort of ego death here and again judgment that's the universe the universe is blowing the horn here waking this person up you might have your guards up when it comes to this person right now you still feel this connection with this person but you're in this energy of this person is too stubborn for me to handle for me to deal with the Pisces, Ten of Wands. You are observing this person. Not exactly observing this person, but you are you have just let go of control of this connection or situation. You are not trying to fight against it. You're not trying to fight for it. You're just like, I don't know, whatever is supposed to happen will happen. You could be exhausted fighting for this connection since we have the Ten of Wands here. You are exhausted fighting for this connection, fighting with this person for some of you as well. You could have had a lot of conflicts, fights, arguments with this person. And when you are constantly fighting or arguing with someone, it will become very exhausting or drained. You will feel drained and that's what you might have felt. Like you got tired of their excuses. You got tired of fighting with them. You got tired of showing this person where they're, what they're doing wrong, how they're hurting you. So you are in this energy of, you know what, do whatever you like. in reverse yeah see eight of cups in reverse and seven of cups you're utterly confused by this person you're like i don't know just do whatever you feel like just do whatever you want i'm too tired i'm too exhausted but here's the thing since we do have the eight of cups in reverse you you might say that you're exhausted by this person or you might have already said to this person that i'm tired of you i'm exhausted of you i'm tired of your lies and games but here's the thing you have not yet managed to completely emotionally detach from this person or walk away from this person or this connection you have not yet managed to do it you might have tried but you still haven't so for some of you, there's still some lingering hope there. That's your energy with the temperance. You definitely, Queen of Wands and temperance, you've definitely taken back control over things and just trying to, you know, focus on your own healing, focus on your doing things your way instead of just running behind this person, trying to make this work, trying to fix this connection, trying to make this person realize what they are doing wrong. Instead of making this person your project, you are focusing on things in your own life that needs to be focused on. That's what you're doing. 
there was a very chaotic energy especially with my cat it was so chaotic energy so this might have felt very chaotic between the, and as i said that he's back so yeah oh come on i don't do that yet okay yeah so um yeah there's a lot of chaotic energy with this person here this person could have created a lot of chaos in your life anytime i start talking with this person my cat is back with this chaotic energy so yeah okay anyways yeah you you are keeping your distance from this person and trying to keep your cool here Seven of Pentacles in reverse, world in reverse. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups. Hmm. This person, they do want to apologize to you because they feel unfinished business with you. They really feel this is not over between the both of you. Now, this person still doesn't know with the seven of pentacles in reverse. This is what I'm getting. This person is not sure if they, if you still want to deal with them, if you still want to invest in them, if you still care about them or want to put in the effort. For some of you, this person has to learn to be independent. I don't know what is this, but this person could have been very codependent on you very dependent on you there's a lot of codependency in this person for some of you they have to learn to be independent first this could have been someone who is as i said this person did have a lot of options six of wands nine of pentacles this person had a lot of options and that's the reason why they were not uh, they were not ready to invest in one particular person or connection you could be dealing with someone who is in love with the idea of love but who is not ready for long-term commitment they are not ready for it that's who you could be dealing with for some of you and whatever transformation whatever pain they are going through they need to go through this this person needs to go through this and you need to keep your distance from this person so that they can go through the change transformation pain and whatever they're experiencing this person has to change their ways and you need to let the universe handle this person and keep your distance from this person instead of trying to heal this person or work with this person or try to fix this person or their life you need to keep your distance that's the energy i'm getting this person is learning some tough lessons here this could have been a very charming kind of a person someone who had a lot of you know like they could just charm you they could just charm anyone for that matter so this is the kind of person like if you introduce to others they will be getting charmed as well they will fall for this person as well. That's the kind of person. And this person needs to enjoy that. They really used to love that kind of attention. So just be careful that you don't let this person back in your life in this energy. Like whatever energy they are in. Like that's the reason I got that energy. You need to keep your distance from this person. Universe will fix this person. Universe will handle this person. But you need to keep your distance. Let them experience that pain. Let them go through that pain and transformation. For some of you, this person might try to come back around because they feel unfinished business with you, but it's going to be the same love bombing kind of an energy with this person. Same charming energy. Not something stable, just them trying to charm you. Because they can't, they feel miserable without you. So that's how. That's how or that's why they will try to be back in your life. So 
five of sorts justice two of cups you still have feelings for this person you still have feelings for the person so you need to be very careful that because you have feelings for this person or because you feel such a strong connection with the with this person here with the lovers and the two of cups don't just let this person back in your life you need to be sure that this person has learned their lessons or they are different or they have changed what do you want is uh, this is the nine of swords here the nine of swords came out in reverse so yeah until and unless this person can give you the clarity the truth keep your distance from this person because there's feelings as well as passion here we have the ace of wands and the two of cups so there's feelings and passion and a strong connection with the lovers you have to make the choice of keeping your distance from this person right now i'm getting that same energy justice and the five of swords whatever this person has done you wrong let them face their karma let them face learn their lessons let them face the consequences of their actions because it's very possible this person has not just tried to charm you fool you they have tried to do the same thing with other people Yeah, focus on your own healing. What is happening with this one? Pentacles, Queen of Swords in reverse, Empress. Don't give your energy freely. That's the message. It's a very simple, straightforward message. Don't give your energy. I see the devil. I was expecting at some point the devil will show up. Uh, yeah. This is not a match. This is not a match. And the Empress shouldn't be giving to someone or a connection where there's devil like energy. This is a codependent connection. You need to let this person get over their codependency. You are dealing with someone who definitely, Queen of Swords in Reverse has lied, has cheated, has hurt multiple people with their words, with their actions. For some of you, this person still has a very strong hold on you. This connection has a strong hold on you. This person has a strong hold on you. And it, it's, it's just like yeah keep your distance this person is not good news for you right now yeah ace of swords you know the truth about this person you know what is good for you what is right for you don't let your guards down don't let your guards down all right well that's your reading sagittarius I hope you found some clarity through this reading. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Leo. If I hadn't mentioned the signs. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care guys. Bye-bye.